What is going on, people? How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. The whole 13 people that are in here. I scared someone away. How could I? So for the like, what, five people that said hello, Zach, EJ, Kian, Austin, Phil, what's up? Down track, how's it going? Alrighty. Of course my phone decides to go off. Because why not? Uh, da -da -da -da. Get rid of the pause. And get into the game. Oh, I've got switch lights on. There we go. Alright, what was I going to do? I forget, was this full? Not quite. Hey Sam, how's it going? So you guys may see some lag spikes here and there. Uh, 1.4 1. 4 of the game dropped today. And it seems like it nuked the shader cache, which is no biggie. But you guys will see some drops. Actually, I'll leave GPS on because I'll probably end up using it. Good but you, I'm doing good. Unlike yesterday, I'm actually... Unlike yesterday, I'm running on time. But, I just looked across and realised I've already had a shower, trim my beard, and I am missing a very valuable piece of equipment to my right hand side, which contains this liquid called coffee. One moment please. I need my coffee. I will be back momentarily. Mission accomplished. Coffee has been received. Retrieved, should I say. So I put my headset back on and get back in the game. And literally zero people have spoke since then. Wow. Why do I feel it is going to be one of those days where it's going to be stupidly quiet? If that is the case, it may be a very short stream today. What do you think of the update? I've recorded one 27 minute video because my stomach was gurgling and hurting because I was hungry. And I'm in it now. Uh, looking at the patch, it's, the patch notes is actually quite extensive changelog. So there's the link that should appear in chat if you guys want to read it yourself. The sound tweaks in non-modded vehicles is very evident very quickly. One thing I did notice was the sound tweaks. And also on the map I have possibly, hopefully, put in the Oakfield lighting and not 100%. Have you seen the seed pallets in the pallet section? I've seen images. They have. Pioneer. They've got Pioneer on board. Holy shit. Wow. 
Wow. I saw a picture of this on Facebook. I didn't know it was actually real. Wow. And these. I don't have a brand here. I I'm not familiar with this one. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh... Surprising. Warrior truck can now be repainted. I thought the warrior truck could be repainted already. No? Can this not be repainted anyway? All that headache rack's new though on the back end of it. Oh, and it's got the hoses on it now. Do the hoses actually work? Oh, and you can raise and lower that axle now by the looks of things too, that's good. Uh, I'm doing good, Dennis. What about yourself? Same with you, Matthew. I'm doing good. No, it was always black. Really? Interesting. Yeah, it could be painted before. I thought it could have. And I'm pretty sure this isn't a new feature. I could be stand corrected. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. There's definitely some new stuff on it. But to be fair, this truck does look better in black. I am very surprised about Pioneer, though. They're a huge seed brand in North America. I don't know if they're particularly big in Europe, though. Maybe they're worldwide, I don't know. I know they're massive over here. Quite often see the signs at the end of the fields. Hey, Drew. Hey, Rupert. Hey, Jim. A lot of people are uh, trucking in there. Oh, the famous land drives back. It's been a while since I've seen that. The RT you're on about. There's been quite a lot. I uh, will put in the changelog again. Have a look for yourself. Pioneer's been added in another chemical brand. Well, Pioneer's for seeds and another brand for chemical stuff, which is cool. Small little touches, but it's legit. Chasing round bales on Meadow Grove, jeez. Also, the Terra variant got an update today. Is there any mod that got released? Nothing game breaking them. Not that I've seen so far. Copper Park Farm's done. Nonetheless, but Bill changes his mind about FS19. Or someone else recreates Cobra Park Farm, which anyone's in their right to do. 
Uh, there should be that Dennis, that's probably part of the 1.4 update. Which of course, clearly it's part of 1.4 update, it's not a mod. They will, I doubt they'll ever really get rid of Lizard Brand because it is a basically a brand fictional to them where they can just get away with putting crap in. But let's be honest, the issues that American Truck Sim has had getting brands in the game for their trucks, I doubt Farm Sim could ever get them in. The uh, Spin Tires Focus Home Interactive could help with that, I don't know. I need to go over to the GPS window. Do you know if Jimbo plays game on YouTube? Been AWOL for a while, just wondered if anyone had. What will happen? Jimbo plays. I've never heard of that dude. Class in FS21? Maybe. Who knows? Never say never. It's more likely FS21 will see class than 19. Yeah, hey, me. I was gonna say, I don't think it's you. No, I don't even know that. I don't watch farm sim content. Genuinely, it, it genuinely bores me to watch. I have zero interest in watching it, so if that's what they do, then chances are I've never heard of them. I don't watch mainly gaming channels at all. No, it's licensing, Liam. Licensing for brands sucks. It's not an easy process by any shape or form of the imagination. It took him a long time to get them in for Euro Truck. People just tend to forget that because the Euro Truck's been around for a long time now. And they want to do it by the book this time instead of how they did it with Euro Truck because they almost got sued massively by Mercedes-Benz. Because they had the brand Majestic in the game that was just a direct ripoff of Mercedes-Benz trucks. Lundy, what top 10 brands would you like to see in FS21? Uh, probably Kubota, Class. Uh, and I think that's... I would love to see more of the smaller brands for European, or predominantly English, Irish brands for farming. So Abbey... Marshall I'd love to see back in the game. Uh, what else? Uh, McKeon, is it? I forget how you pronounce it. That type of stuff. Do Volvo do any farm equipment? I don't think they do any farm equipment now. They used to, going way back. Yeah, they used to have BM or MB. The tractors were called. But I don't think they've had any farm equipment for a few years now. They're more on the construction side of things and obviously road going vehicles and trucks. Where the hell is the trailer? I'm looking for a trailer yet. Secretly, I don't even know if I have one. Oh, I do. It's right there next to the John Deere. Go figure. That's the brands I, I would really like to see, those ones. Kubota I'd love to see in the game. They would, honestly, I think feel Kubota would have a lot to offer. As long as other brands don't get funny about having other brands in the game. That's the big issue with getting brands on board. And I'm not going to mention names, but this is true, 100% fact. There have been brands that have got funny about other ones coming into the game. Uh, 
and well let's just say they've disappeared from the brand or the game now several brands have disappeared from the game in the past for whatever reason why but sometimes that is the reason which sucks they all work together real world quite happily well maybe not quite happily but somewhat happily shame they can't in here at the end of the day it's promotion for all these brands yes they, I know they're protecting their their branding their licensing but it is all free promotion for them at the end of the day What about you guys, brand-wise? Spin the question back on you. Uh, did I get the egg pallets? I think I put them in. I can't remember now. I never used the American trucks. Not on European maps, at least. And the tractor you were on about that can have the three meter tracks now, I thought it always could as well. This. Oh, have they actually d just done what I think they have? They have. Oh my god, that looks terrible. Literally, all they've done is unbolted this part here and moved it along an extra one and bolted them back together. Is that how the real ones are? Yeah, the three meter tracks don't destroy crop anymore. They're care wheels now. Don't care for them personally, never use them. Okay, or Renault. Renault's a tough one because the tractors, I believe, got bought out by Class, the Renault division. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. And then you have... It's just like Ford coming into the game. You've got too many variants because of different people owning them, the licensing. You still have Ford Motor Company. Renault, you still have their vehicles. As far as road-going vehicles. There's too many people in that license. Yeah, I think class ball trackers. I thought, I think so. Yeah, because the Renault tractors were class for a while, right? I, I know that to be true. Yeah, that fence amazing. I absolutely love it. How do I install patch on Windows Seven? You go to the mod hub, click at the top where it says updates. If you got it through Giants or anywhere else, if you got a disc copy as well. Click up, uh, updates, click on the right one, so Windows 7. Uh, but I would highly recommend you update your Windows 7 to Windows 10 as soon as possible because your system will become very much unsupported by Windows and you will probably pick up a crap ton of viruses. More importantly, console needs more John, John Deere's. You may say that as a joke, Matt, but it's true. It is very true. The selection of John Deere's in the game I was disappointed with. I was expecting more. I was definitely expecting more classic John Deere's than... Well, I was expecting a, a classic John Deere of some sort. That I was disappointed with. Happy they're in the game, but kind of disappointed with the selection there. So I have to unzip it to follow the instructions though. I have Windows 10. I highly recommend you update your computer at some point to Windows 10 though. So I think this year or next year, Windows 7 is kaput. Should 
JD 6M has been updated. What have they done to the 6M? Yeah, Ford is New Holland now. Wow, the tractor side of things. They bought the AG side of Ford. I wouldn't say I'm a fanboy. I definitely prefer them over the other brands. Again, I have been like that since a kid. I had a beacons. Oh, really? Is that all they did to it? No, it's not in a large track. This is medium. Must be under small. Okay, what's it under? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. They've added it, but I bet you can't have the option to take them off, can you? It just looks wrong with that bonnet. It should be a John Deere 7530. Oh, it kills me. Oh, and you still can't put a front uh, three point on the front of this. You should be able to put a three point on the front if you ask me. So I wonder if we go over here. I doubt they've done this. The thing that always wound me up about this tractor is always got the rear weights in it. And I personally just don't like it. Yeah, no matter what tire option, you have to have rear weights. I still haven't actually used this tractor. Oh no, the real one come. It's probably gameplay the reason why they did it, but kind of stupid. Hey, Blumers, what's up? Oh, rear weights have an effect in the game, I'm not saying they don't, but... I wish you could take them off it. I just personally don't like the style of them. Oh, this is a tune. Do you know what your graphics settings are off the top of your head? All of my percentages under advance I've turned down to 100% and I am running on high or very high. But I've got everything turned down on the percentage numbers to around 100% barring actually the tyre tracks. I've got my stuff turned way down because of recording and all of that good stuff. This laptop has never liked this FS19. I've never been able to get a solid 60 on it, which is surprising, I should, but I never have. No worries. Hey, VF. Are you becoming a better presenter yet? Use the American ADA. Yeah, it's a shame they never included American configs of those tractors. They really shot themselves in the foot with that one. Even Lars said that. <laughs> To me in the past. The way they initially launched the game kind of sounded like you would be able to use European configs and American configs and he, he straight up told me himself through voice chat I do not know why they did that do that. Very strange. 
Still love laws. Yep. <laughs> How long are you in Germany for? Thirty six hours. Oh. I'll be back home now. Oh sweet. Jeez. They spent a lot of money to get you guys... Was it just you and Silver, Virtual? Out there? I'm not going to go into details by any means, but let's put it this way. I know how much Silver's plane ticket cost, and that was... Yeah. Oh, Lars is a real chill guy from the little I've spoken to him voice chat-wise. And I, I hit him up reasonable amounts through PMs, and he is a top-notch guy. He's one that would fit in with our group if he chose to ever come and just chill. Uh, me, Silver, Mr. TDP. Uh, don't recognize that second one. Well, the third one, sorry. Wow. Yeah, they spent a lot of money getting you guys out there. Ah, crap. Wrong side. Is that a fake bird tractor? Uh, no, it is a Dutz fur and a painted it orange to pretend that it's X airport cleaning, snow removal, stuff like that. I'm not pretending it's Kubota by any means. Looks nothing like a Kubota. Kind of actually as boxy as one of the old Kubotas, but no. Just a Dutz fur. Uh, is a console first game uh, quite the full? Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be why I've never heard of him. Thompson, obviously. That's cool. Who nice guy too? Sweet. Is he from the UK as well? Presumably. It does for PS4 farm soon, but 30k subs, wow, fair play. There you go. There's no way I could play on console. I would be ripping the game to shreds too much. Compared to what it is on PC, I know I would be. The guys on console miss out too much, but that's because they have to support the older versions of the game. Or well, older versions of the console. I think 20, uh, 40, yeah, 24 should be ready. And it seems like we're loading a new cache. Hey, babe, what's up? Well, yes. So I think we've got cool. Uh, breaks. But not as good as PC. Yeah, it's the first thing Sim said as soon as he played the console version of the game. He said it looks like crap compared to PC. And this is Simulate at home playing on his version that he had. Uh, okay. It seems like a lot of people have jumped on that bandwagon of the survival stuff. I'll definitely see more and more of it. Bay, dang. The 
the subscriber contracts. Ah, so he does a lot of multiplayer. As far as farm sim goes, it's be better played on PC for sure. Get a, get a play with a lot of the script stuff, the better graphics. Not necessarily better mods, but a wider selection of mods and more freedom as far as mods go. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy with the console version of the game and it's kind of screwed the game as far as PC style features being added into the game default, but at the same time, I understand, and it's very true, the game wouldn't be where it was if they didn't put it out on console because it wouldn't have had the funding, plain and simple. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like uh, multiplayer contract sort of thing, jumped on someone else's farm. Makes sense. Oh, I'll just go into the field from here. Saw uh, 19 on console somewhere. It was horrible. I've not seen it myself, so I can say. If I had a console, I'd probably be uh, playing NHL a lot if I had that. Hey, Steve. <laughs> yeah. You're right on that one, Chuck. You're right on that one. Yeah, the, the slot count on consoles. I would love to see what would happen if they unlimited that. The slot count is ridiculous because so many things go into the slots. Much more than I ever knew about. Oh, really, Chad? I wish, I wish NHL was for PC. Hopefully, the new one will be. Still no laptop, still no gaming. What? How come, Paul? Is it still, was it in bump board or something, wasn't it? Oh, that's cool, Jim. Oh, really, Chad? Bang. I hope it comes to PC. Like, that's the only reason I'd get a console is predominantly NHL. Apparently, this is the supply now. Dang. That's taking a long time. Where, where did it have to go back to? Was man with PC specials? Huh. Yeah, surely if it's broke, they would have just. Yeah, okay, it's broke, confirmed, sending you a new one. I do recommend this map, it's definitely 
brought new life into the game for me using smaller machinery instead of the stuff that I've been using for a while, like on Oakfield and Metagrove. Yeah, thank you, right? Yeah, I wouldn't go with that company again if uh, they're doing that BS. Don't do round bales. I did round bales the other day without no issues. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, dude. I recommend Cyberpower PC. That's where I got my laptop. Granted, it was through the US, and you can't do that unless you have someone you can know and trust that lives in the US, like I did. But uh, presumably the UK branch is just as good. That map, I, I've been, the last few maps I've gone up actually, I've looked at the PDAs and they're all huge, huge fields. Stuff that I would never even play with. Monsters. Maybe it'd be cool to do a video on it just as a one-off sort of thing. Lunar Farm 2019. When Oxy converts it. <laughs> I wouldn't have some PC for console, neither would I. Not in a million years. Yeah, I had to put my out to bed for a bit. No doubt we'll pick it back up at some point. Maybe with seasons. I don't know. I was actually looking on the Giants forums last night about Seasons. 94% they reckon, although they're not doing a beta like they did last time around. So they say themselves it's going to have a lot of issues, which is discouraging, very discouraging. That's a mod where I feel probably really should have a beta test on it before sending it up to the mod hub. Test it for days. <sighs> nah. They need more than just a couple of people testing it. I'm gonna be quite frank, I don't know if I would. It slows down progress so much, and there's so much stuff to test, they they literally need a few hundred people testing that. 
I just hope it's made very clear when it is released on the hub and somewhere it says on the mod hub when anyone can download it. From what I understand, Seasons is coming to PC first and then console later down the line. It is basically a beta. So I think that they are going to be using PC as a beta test. Again, you can find all of this on the forum for yourselves if you guys want to read it. On the Giants forum. Wow, this was poor yield in field. Oh, yeah. Season doesn't need any uh, publicity. Look at the 6M. Yeah, someone said it's got beacons now. That's all. But literally just looked at it maybe about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Yeah, that. Landini did not look good from the uh, preview pitches. Seasons is an extremely complicated mod, so I'm not. Will not be surprised if there's issues. Yeah, the sounds in the cabs are definitely way louder than they used to be. Uh, what tractor was it? There was a tractor I was in. The Case. The old style Case Magnum. This one. This one. The engine load sound now sounds really deep. There is a very deep burble to it now. Compared to what they used to be. So they've definitely changed a lot of the sounds. Look for this. Have a look. That model of Landini is that a one that Steyer have bought and recolor and rebrand as their own, out of curiosity, or vice versa? Because it's probably the case. Giants typically just don't allow any old reskid up on the mod hub. Yes. Yeah, we were looking at them earlier. Now, of course, modded tractors with modded sounds, not the stock in-game stuff, like this, for example, hasn't changed. I think there's a fence post though. What's changed? One moment. There you go, there's a change log. Should be appearing in chat. Go have a look for yourself. There is quite a lot, actually. Apparently Dave had issues with this combine. I'm still yet to have issues with it. No worries. Gotta admit, I wasn't expecting the uh, 1.4 to drop today. 
pretty surprised when I saw that. I literally loaded up the game, went to go do something, come back, and in that time I saw that the 1.4 was out, so shut down the game from recording. I was, like I said, literally about to go record, and then uh, update it. This is a Meadow Grove. Nice to see the combine still slides backwards, though. It's always had this issue, I don't get it. Wow, that last bit of coffee. Coffee was strong. How do you update on Lost? Where did you get your game from? Are you going to stay now? Yes. Alright, let's find the best place to sell this. When to do something. Yes. The porcelain throne map. The porcelain throne. The best thing to do when waiting for farm some to load. Uh, da, 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 da. So, is this top hill? Where be the top hill? Over yonder. Amazon. Oh, so is it a digital download, presumably? Do you like John Deere? Love John Deere's. Basically, for you, Huaguan, you go to the farming simulator website where the website mod hub is. So, farming, farming dash simulator. Whatever, basically it's the same URL that I put in yeah, for that. But go to mods, and at the very top there should be a thing that says update. Click that, click 1.4, and then what operating system you've got. Time to shuffle until seasons. You'll be waiting a while for seasons. Like they said they're 94% done, but it's going to be a while. The console has flashing lights. Huh? No worries. Consoles always had flashing lights. Okay, the beacons. Can I get to it going this way? No, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, the most useless gate in history, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you got barbed wire there. My bad. I was running through it. Got no collisions. Oh, reflective beacons you're on about. This is after the mod contest, you reckon? I've got a hunch. I was saying mid to late summer. I have a hunch that it could be after Farmcon. I can't remember if I've got reflective beacons actually switched on. Need a pin up. I don't think consoles can have reflective beacon because of the rendering that it takes.
gotta be down here. Where do you think we need to know update for seasons? Oh, well, for consoles, yes. But PC is getting seasons first because they're treating PC as the beta test. Pretty sure I read that on the forum. Pretty sure. No, Andy, that's going to cost hundreds. I just don't have the cash. No, oh, really? There's a lane way to it, but it wasn't Tarmac Road. Surely it's Tarmac. I was actually thinking it'd be up here. But obviously not. That's a heavy load. Well, we at 23 ton combined right now. Oh, very narrow. Okay. This is actually the first time I saw grain on here. Mm, yeah, my own grain at least. Get off my damn screen, boy. How about you click the uh, X then, buddy? It must be at the end of field four here. I see it. No, oh, I thought it would be that. Well, she's Canadian, so probably to you guys. No, I've never been to Ireland. Haven't been to much of the UK, let alone Ireland. Now she's Texan. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is a road that I always go to turn down by accident. No idea, Sam. Oh, Sim. Have you been in game yet? Because this is something new. These are brand new too. Budge and sounds, did they change in 1.9? Uh, 1.4, I have no idea. I think all of the sounds, to be quite honest with you, you need to just open up the game and if you got stock tractors, listen to them. Some have changed. Probably, if not most of them, if not all of them. Thank you for the directions, by the way, guys. Appreciate it. All right, how much money are we going to make out of this? Hey, Liam. Pretty much going to end it here, too, by the way. Probably take this back down to the yard, but that'll be it. What's the reason for changing the sounds? I will reply in Facebook. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Uh, because the sounds weren't the greatest, to be honest. They were decent, but they did, some needed tweaking. The fact that Sims are replying in Facebook probably means it's going to be full of explicits. Oh, oh, I know why you said that. It wasn't full of explicits. I'm still not going to repeat what he said. Yeah, Andy, I'll link it for you again. Oh, put it in chat again. Link that's appearing is the 1.4 changelog. Well, it's actually all the changelogs. Mixed into one. That's cool. I don't care. Please don't say whenever people are alive. Very, very disrespectful. I stop when I want to stop, I don't stop for other people. Which we may go, I was thinking about ending, but I may actually go look at the pallets. Hurling is not big in the UK at all. I don't think it's even played in the UK. It's a sport I never heard of until Rainbow Dave told me about it a few years back now. Not being stubborn. Just speaking the truth. Plus, we can go use the awesome skid steer again, too. So, yeah, how it is. The amount of times I have been told that. Some people it appeals to, other people just can't stand it because they hate the truth. Seen that time and time again. They also added care wheels for the ART. Yeah, it's not care wheels though, Andy. That's trucks. They basically made it so the three meter trucks are now. Well, now don't destroy crop. IRL, they would be set up so they're going in between corn rows and stuff like that for a row crop type.
Alright, down to the store we go. Alright, let's go to the store. I have no idea when uh, Black Sheep's Skid Steer will be up. For the uh, GD. Whoa! That didn't even. hold in the uh, locking script. Possible it was to be included with the Marcio JD, my guess. JD didn't like that. JD don't have anything to do with the mods. I messaged Lissatan about that because of all the rumors going around right now, and he's straight up said John Deere have nothing to do with user created content, aka mods that go on the mod hub. Now granted, I, the only reason I thought the John Deere Skid Steer and the Massey Skid Steer were coming out together, I thought the models were very similar in the trailer video they did, and they were they looked the same vehicle then, just with a different skin, I thought that's how they were IRL. I was wrong, admittedly. Big time wrong. May suck, but we may have to drive the uh, this thing back. Yeah, it is coming. It's up on their website still. I'll probably swap out to that once it drops. We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna put pallets. Oh, well, I'm gonna put pallets on the trailer. And how do I? Yeah, no, it was Patrick. I was under the same impression because I saw a lot of people talking about it. There was also, and I can't remember the team who it was that said it, but it was one of the teams that have been trying to get some John Deere's up on the mod hub said that they had John Deere said something to Giants and they couldn't put it up or something along those lines, I'm pretty sure. I cannot find the post. I cannot remember who said it. That's winding me up because I was going to send that to Lars and go, this is what I was on about because I've spoken to him about it, obviously. I'll only buy a couple of pallets, so we may be able to squeeze a, them up front. Wrong one. Because I know I don't need much. Plus we got that one there still. Is it on the forum? I, I I couldn't remember who it was. I was looking on custom modding and uh, the guys who make the John Deere RX. I was looking on their page. I thought it was them. Wonder if the little uh, little bags can be picked up. I don't think so. I'd be very very surprised if they can. Yeah, no, I think it's just a normal pallet. I 
Fox and no, this was a Facebook post I saw it for me. And it was off of a team that's renowned for doing John Deere stuff. I'm almost certain it was custom modern. No, Steve, I think I've downloaded them. I can't remember if I've put them in game, though. Too wide, probably not. No, good morning or evening. Oh, chilly New Zealand. Winter. What is it, Rob? 17 over there? 15? Now this is probably going to totally overload this little pickup. We'll see. That's right. It was him. Yeah, and the weight carrier was actually from the stocking game tractor, if memory serves correctly. I think the stocking game tractor it was from was this. That right there is where a lot of people are getting them from. Or... Uh, da, 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 da. There's a lot of controversy going around with that... Uh, JH uh, HG guy right now too so I'd stay away from his stuff personally or this one there are a lot of people getting the weight carrier off for the biggest stuff in the American stuff If this pickup can cope with this, I'll be surprised. We'll probably end the stream here. And I'll use a tractor to get this back. If only there was decent stuff that you could get away with it being European for pickups. Oh wow, you can extend the legs? I didn't know you could do that. Neat! <laughs> Did not know you could do that. It's actually two degrees over here where I am. Oh dang, cold. I'll give you that one then. And what I'll do is I'll just run with that like that. I'll be very surprised if this works.
There's actually not enough weight on the on the axle there, on the rear drive axle. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Did the stream die? Does your 6M have Beacons Land in the store page? Uh, it updated, Ike. 1.7. Oh, 1.4. If you've updated your game that should be out on all platforms at this point, then you'll have it too. Oh, what a dink of traffic. Since when did the traffic trucks have air horns? That's new. That's oh, sweet. Where do you come up with your name? I like Land Rovers, and back then I was the youngest a kid. Nickname for Land Rovers are Landys. Simple as that. The kid part stuck. Mainly because I've got a real good logo that should have cost a quite considerable amount of money, but didn't. At least I can see the tracks on the ground to know that I actually went the right way. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. This is for the frickin' uh, store. GG. Landy Adult. Yeah, it doesn't have the same name. Some people have said Landy Man. Doesn't have the same name too. Or Ring to it. Hey, GT. You know what, I should probably dump the pallet in the box of this thing. Old landing. Yeah, that doesn't even have the right ring to it, too. We made it. I can't say a victory. Don't care what happens now because we're right outside the farm. Well, at least we got seed for the uh, we drifting seeding. That will end up be end up doing relatively soon. What's new with the patch? Disregard that link that's about to go in there. <laughs> that's Oxy's Facebook page. Alright, the farm sim link that's about to appear. Wow, that was already appeared. There you go. That's what's new. Read for yourself, because there's quite a bit. The word off there. So I'm going to bid you guys farewell. I hope you have enjoyed. Went for a bit longer. And we'll be back tomorrow with uh, possibly Oakfield. We'll see. We'll see. I've been really enjoying Oak, um, Metagrove right now, so we'll have to see on that one. So until next time, hope you guys have enjoyed. Tomorrow's video is on Oakfield, though, for sure. So catch you guys later. See ya.